After creating your document library, you'll want to determine where documents will go once they're uploaded. And you can do that in two ways. The first, you can create folders, just like you do on your desktop. To create a folder in SharePoint, click the New button, and then click New Folder. I'll call this one Folder 2. And now we have folders 1 and 2 in the test library. So, the problem with folders is that if you have too many of them, it can become confusing for your users to find documents. And that's why SharePoint has added an additional tool called Attributes. You can see attributes in this top gray bar. There are four of them. Right now we have an attribute for file type. This is a folder, file name, modified, and modified by. Attributes make it easier for users to identify documents. To create a new attribute, go to the Settings tab and then click Create Column. SharePoint offers a list of different kinds of attributes you can include, anywhere from single line of text to different kinds of currency to a choice that opens a drop-down menu. From this menu, you can select which attributes you want to include, and you can select which attributes you want to require users to fill out when they upload documents. So in Test Library A, I've included two new attributes, Document Type and Description. Both are self-explanatory. Attributes can make SharePoint search a lot more accurate. If you see in the top right of the screen, you can search the entire SharePoint site for a particular keyword or whatever you're looking for. In this case, I want to search for marketing documents on this demo site. And as you can see, search has found two results, both in Folder 1 of Test Library A. So I'll go back and click on Folder 1, and here are two documents titled Marketing, and with marketing in the document type. Continue to structure your library however you'd like with attributes and folders. Learn more at blog.precipio.com.